Are you spending hours scheduling your Pinterest pins, wondering if there's a better way? Well, there is, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. And it's using the Tailwind for Pinterest tool. Now, Tailwind has released a lot of new features, and if you've watched any of the other videos on my channel or any other creators' videos on Tailwind, chances are they are pretty outdated because there are some new and killer features that Tailwind has released in the recent year, and you should know all about them, including their new homepage, which is a unified view of all of your scheduled content, the ghost writer feature that they have integrated into their platform, which is AI. I am in love, let me tell you. I'm gonna walk you through all of that and more in this video. And because I know that's why you're here, let's just hop right to it. Okay, so this is your Tailwind dashboard. If you haven't been in Tailwind in a long time, they've definitely changed the interface a lot. And in today's walkthrough, I just wanna walk you through what is new. So the home screen is obviously new. You'll be able to see any scheduled content right here at a glance. And then if you want to filter by date or by week or whatever, you've got a filtered plan here. Um, drafts also look slightly different than they did before. They're going to be filtered out by your content and what you actually have uploaded per account. So if you have multiple different accounts tied in, you'll be able to filter down based on those. So you can see here, these are pins that I have in my drafts right now. To bulk schedule drafts, you have to click and just keep selecting each one and click bulk schedule and it'll take you to the screen. If you're not ready to schedule pins, you can always click save for later and it'll take it back to your drafts. So let's actually go back for now. To upload pins to drafts, you're gonna click the upload button here. And I do wanna warn you, you cannot just upload as many as you want anymore. It's actually going to limit you to seven. So I just wanna show you what that looks like. It might be 10. It might let you do 10. It does, it appears as though it's 10. So if you try to upload any more than 10, just know that it's going to say, hey, um, you've hit our max upload limit. And then from here, you're gonna take and click the radio button next to every single one. I find this actually to be very annoying. I wish it would just let me click save all as drafts, but you actually have to click the stupid little buttons. It tells you, you have nine selected, so if you know you uploaded 10, you'll have to go back and find it and click save as drafts. Or alternatively, you could click that blue button that says go to schedule pins. Now, let's talk about some of these features over here. They've recently released their AI tool, including email marketing. We're not going to be talking about email marketing today. However, if you do click into plan and you want to use Tailwind for more than just Pinterest, you can create a customized um marketing plan for yourself and that's where all of these little items like ask me anything or like post types are going to be put into your calendar and you can customize that. The next thing I want to show you is their AI labs section which is Tailwind Ghostwriter. I've made a Pinterest video on how to make um, Pinterest descriptions using Ghostwriter previously. We will touch on that in this video as well but these are all the things that you can use their Ghostwriter for and remember you're credits are set to expire every single month. So if you're not on a paid plan, you will need to create a paid plan or sign up for a paid plan to get more than 10 credits. Um, so these are all of those things. We're not going to go into these today. I just wanted to show you what those looked like. Communities is something that's been standard um, within Tailwind for a very long time, at least since I've been using Tailwind in 2017. Uh, communities are basically a place where you can share content of yours and other people will share your content. I don't use communities anymore. If anyone is asking in the comments of this video, are communities still recommended? You can definitely use communities, but just know it requires you to pin other people's content. And if you don't wish to do that, then perhaps you can just skip over communities. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Tailwind Insights. These are basically the Pinterest analytics that are within Tailwind. So it'll tell you how your overall profile is going, your follower growth. It'll tell you board insights. So what boards are popping off on your Pinterest profile. The Pinterest analytics actually shows you this information as well. And then you can look at Pin Inspector and see what pins have done well. Total saves on them, how many impressions, how many pin clicks, how many outbound clicks, when it was pinned, if you wanted to reschedule this or add it to communities, you can use that feature here. 
Um, before you go and ask, should I reschedule the same pin over and over? The answer is no. I would suggest just creating a new version of that pin instead of repinning it. If you look at Website Insights, um, this is only available if you connect your Google Analytics to Tailwind, I believe. You can see some information here on those details. I'm not going to go too much into depth because I don't use this tool, to be quite honest. I use Google Analytics, Pinterest Analytics to look at my own information. I find this one to be interesting. These actually match um, Pinterest Analytics quite well as your top pins. And these pins are always at the top, quite fr frankly. They are always at the top. You can filter dates to see what content was popular um, during a different time. So if you wanted to see like September of last year, and it's six months, I believe. So you can only go back six months because these are tied to Pinterest analytics. So if you wanted to look at all of January, you could definitely go in and look at that. So I was going to say you could go look at last year's content, but that would be a lie. Uh, you used to be able to go back further in Tailwind. And then if you filter by pins from heatherferris.com or your website, you can see that as well. Okay, so that's an overview on insights. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you about was actually how to set up your smart schedule. So this is the first thing you're going to want to do when you create a Tailwind account. After you get your account connected to Pinterest, which is inside of your settings under accounts, you're going to connect your account here. You can see I already have mine here. And then under smart schedule, you are going to generate a smart schedule if you don't have one already, and it will generate a schedule for you with ideal pinning time slots for each day of the week. Now, let's talk about actually scheduling your content. That is why we are here today. I still find Tailwind to be the easiest of all the schedulers to use because I've used it for the longest, but their scheduling offers so many different features and ways to schedule your content, unlike some of the other tools. So some other tools you are forced to simply upload the content directly to the drafts, which I already showed you how to do that. On Tailwind, you get this beautiful little Tailwind extension and you can actually go and schedule content from anywhere on the internet that belongs to you. So for example, if I wanted to schedule this template here that I'm selling inside of my Etsy store, all I have to do is click that Tailwind scheduling icon and then click save for later. I don't like to usually schedule everything um, right out of the gate in the moment. So I will go to my store and I will find a few different things. And this makes actually pinning products and freebies a lot easier to do when you are trying to um, alternate what you're creating pins for. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Etsy banners in to my drafts. And then what I can do is over here on my Shopify store, I can come in here and actually pull out my products as well. So our little Shopify store, for some reason, the um, Tailwind icon is not showing up. So in that case, what we just need to do is hit the Tailwind icon here and click re-enable classic experience, close it, hit that Tailwind extension again, and then you get all of the Pinterest images that are in that listing. Click go schedule, and then click save for later. So that is how I like to schedule content from the internet. Now the, the last thing that I wanna show you is how to pin from your blogs. So I have recently updated my Tailwind blog post. I'm updating the Tailwind video obviously right now because you're watching it, but I did go in and actually update the Pinterest images. So what I will do again is the Tailwind schedule icon. Click that sucker, open that up, and then click save for later. And then I'm going to take you back to your drafts and you're going to see all of this beautiful content actually inside of your Tailwind drafts now. And now what I would do is go in to drafts and select all of the pins that I want to schedule. And now I'm going to show you the fun part, which is how to use Ghostwriter. So click bulk schedule. 
And then you want to make sure, this is why I like to use the Tailwind extension because it pulls the URLs in. So you want to make sure that you get, you have your URLs in there. If you bulk upload to Tailwind, you are going to need to have your URLs ready so you can pull those in to the platform and put them in your Pinterest pins. So for example, this is just heatherferris.com. I actually need that URL from my blog post. So you want to make sure you have that ready. I would have to go to my blog. I would have to find that blog post and then get the URL and then put it in there. And that's, it's a lot of work, right? It takes more time. So we're going to stick it in there. And then what you want to do with Ghostwriter, because this one's ready to go, is you want to click Ghostwriter. You want to click I'm posting about and choose the thing you're posting about. And then you want to have your keywords and phrases ready to go here as well. So in this case, I know I want to use the, key, uh, the keywords like Tailwind for Pinterest, etc. So I'm going to stick those in and I'll be right back. So now that I have all my content ready to go, the informational content is in there. It's telling it what it's about. I have my keywords. I have my call to action. You're going to click generate caption. Now, what I want you to do here is if you are creating multiple different Pinterest pins for the same piece of content, don't waste your Tailwind Ghostwriter credits for every single version of that single pin. Because in most cases, Ghostwriter actually will write multiple different variations for you. What you're gonna do is scroll through, grab them all, paste them into a document somewhere. I would paste them into ClickUp if it were me. Um, or scroll down and just paste them into each pin if you have them all ready to go. And then you're utilizing one credit to write three descriptions. Case in point, there are three descriptions here for this one post ready for me to review and rewrite. I always suggest rewriting them. If you click try again, it will use another one of your credits. So you can see here my credits went from four to five. So what I would do in this case is copy and paste out the extra two descriptions and paste them somewhere where you can edit them and manipulate them and use them for Pinterest pins later on the same URL. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and click save. And in this save section is actually where I would edit this description for my voice and make sure that it has all the keyword phrases in it in the right place. And then you're going to click add to boards. Okay, so I've edited my description. I'm now going to choose my boards that I want this to go on. So I believe I have a Tailwind board. I have a Tailwind tips and tutorials. And then I believe I have a scheduler's board. I'm going to get this question and I'm going to just go ahead and answer it now. The question is always, should I schedule my Pinterest pins to more than one board? You can do that. It's not going to get you marked as spam or anything like that. So if you want to schedule it to more than one board, don't be afraid to do that. It's fine. However, I will say I wouldn't rely on scheduling them over and over the same version for long-term success. I would just focus on making sure that you're creating really good Pinterest pins instead of worrying about repins consistently. So I'm going to put this on my Pinterest strategies for beginners and my Tailwind tips and tutorials. Now, the when to post. We set up our smart schedule, right? Well, in this section, you can actually click to generate that smart schedule if you'd like to. So we're actually just going to go back and this is going to say use custom time or you can choose a time in here that you um, know is fine. This is when another little section is going to open up. You can schedule, it's going to default on Tailwind to scheduling every seven days. You can also change this to monthly here if you would like to or daily, which is not recommended, and they tell you it's not recommended. So I would choose either weekly or monthly, and then what you're going to do in the community pin section, if you wanted to add this to communities, is click add to community, and it won't actually add it to com your community until the pin is scheduled, so click schedule post, and it will add it to the community, it will schedule it to your queue, and if we go home, you can actually see here that Pinterest pin is here in our in our queue. That pin will go out today. And then if you wanted to edit this or unschedule or delete it, you can do so here by clicking any of those buttons. And it's going to tell you here what board it's going to go on. It's going to auto post and it's a Pinterest pin. Now, a couple of other things that I want to show you um, Actually, one other thing I want to show you is how to use Tailwind to schedule video. 
So I actually have a video ready to go on my desktop that's um, right here. I don't want to watch it. I want to open it. And then I'm going to click pin. And once it's done uploading, we will be able to go and schedule it. Once you are ready to schedule it, you're going to optimize it just like any other Pinterest pin. The only thing that you cannot do in Tailwind is add your topics, which you are able to add when you upload them on the native scheduler. The one thing that I would suggest doing is making sure that you either upload, which you can do here, a cover image, or drag the player here to select the correct cover image for your video pin. Once you have it fully optimized, just like I did the last pin, you're going to click schedule post. I'm going to save this one for later right now because I would like to make a cover image for that video. And then you can schedule your video pins using Tailwind as well. So now that you know how to use Tailwind to schedule your Pinterest pins, you probably need a full Pinterest marketing strategy. And you're in luck because I just refilmed a brand new Pinterest marketing, what I would tell my friends. You should go watch this video and I will see you there.